Question four is a rates of reaction question, and the key thing here is, is initial rates investigation. Now what we've got here is the equation for the reaction that's taking place. It's a simple proportionation reaction between iodide and iodate. And from the results, there's a rate equation that has already been determined. Now the overall order of the rate equation is just obtained by summing the orders with respect to the individual reactants. And the key thing is to notice here that there is a 1 lurking here for the iodate. So we've got 2 plus 1 plus 2, which is a 5, which is a fifth order reaction. Now the proposed mechanism for the reaction takes place in several steps, and we're to suggest two reasons why it's unlikely that this reaction can take place in one step. So we're going to have two reasons here, and they need to be two distinct reasons. So the first reason here is that if the rate equation, remember, is showing us the stoichiometry of the slow step. So essentially, the rate equation implies that five species collide in the slow step. This is very unlikely. Now, essentially, any collision between more than two species is very, very unlikely. Even a collision between two is relatively unlikely. Collisions between more than two species are very, very unlikely. And therefore, five species here is almost impossible. It's much more likely that another mechanism is operating. But don't say any of that extra. This is all you need to say for this reason. We need another reason. And the other reason is that remember that the mechanism of the reaction has not only got to be consistent with the rate equation, but also with the overall equation. And if we notice here that if this were the only step in the reaction, then we'd only have two iodides, one iodate, and two H pluses. But actually we've got five, one, and six. And therefore, rate equation predicts stoichiometry that is inconsistent with the overall equation. And therefore it is impossible to just take place in one step. It wouldn't be that reaction if this took place in one step. The second part of the question asks us to uh, draw rate concentration graphs for the initial rate against the iodate concentrations. It's useful to look back here. It was first order with respect to iodate. And what that means is that we're looking at rate equals K times the iodate concentration, which is going to look something like a Y equals KX graph. So it's going to start at the origin, because when X is zero, it's zero. And then it's going to be a directly proportional relationship just a straight line graph, so something like that. Now, the next one is saying the relationship for H+. plus. Now, that's second order, so we're looking at rate equals K times H+, plus or squared, which is looking something like Y equals KX squared. And so, when we again, we start, if X is 0, Y will be 0 here, and this time it's going to follow a square-type relationship, so it would be having a constantly increasing gradient, so something like that. We do.